OK, so in each of these three examples, what we want to do is find the 2,300th term. OK, so in each of these cases, I'm going to have to find the nth term first. I'm going to use this arithmetic sequences formula in order to do it. So for number one, we've got un is equal to the first term, a, so 88, plus n minus 1 times by d, the common difference. Now we can see that these are going down by minus 11, or sorry, well, adding on minus 11 each time. So this will be my nth term. Now I'm not going to bother rearranging it. I'm going to go straight in to u 2300. OK? So we're going to have 88 plus 2300 take away 1 times by minus 11. And this gets me minus 25,201. So that is the 2300th term. For number 2, 0 0.9, 2.1, 3.3, 4.5, the nth term is equal to a, so 0 0.9, plus n minus 1 times by the common difference. Now this one is going up by 1.2 each time. So u, 2300, 0 0.9 plus 2300, take away 1, times by 1.2 gets me 2,759.7. And then number three, one quarter, take away a twelfth, take away five twelfths, take away three quarters. Okay, oh sorry, one quarter minus a twelfth, minus five twelfths, minus three quarters. Got to say it right. So the nth term is the first term, a quarter, plus n minus 1 times d. Now the common difference isn't so obvious here. So if we do minus 1 twelfth, so we take the second term and then take away the first term, that gets me minus a third. So that means I'm taking a third each time. So that's my common difference. So u 2300 is 1 quarter plus 2,300 take away 1 times by minus a third. And that gets me minus 9,193 over 12. OK? So that's how we can quickly find any term we like in a sequence using the nth term formula.